Hi, I'm Karen. We're here at Montevilla Sewing Center, and today we're talking about the Baby Lock Jubilant. In this video, I'm going to talk about the settings. Now, you can change a few things on your machine, which makes it really handy. To start out with, I'm going to show you where that is in your book. It's in the Getting Started section, which starts with a, a number one up here and happens to be on page 11. So, um, to start with, when you're sewing, I say I start sewing and it stops with a needle down. That's what this little thing up here means. It's a handy f a thing to have because you can turn and look at your stitches and go back to stitching. But when you come to a stop, that means you need to have your needle come up and then you cut your thread off. If you prefer to have your machine roll to a stop with a needle up, there's an easy way to do that. And the way we do that is you press and hold, press and hold the needle down, needle up, until it gives you those two beeps. Now, make the needle come up. And notice I hung onto my threads just to make sure that they didn't get pulled down inside the machine. Now when I start sewing, it stops with the needle up. So that's a nice feature to have, to be able to change that depending on uh, whether you're garment sewing or quilting or whatever you're doing, what's most convenient to you. Now you can also change whether or not you have that beep. Sometimes you want to sew really quietly or the beep is just something you don't want to have. In that case, on this page, on page 11, that's where it is, it shows you can press and hold this while turning on your machine. So start out with, have your machine off, then you press and hold the minus key down here. Then you turn on your machine. It's going to give a little bit of a beep. Now when you go to different stitches or make little changes, it, you don't have that beep. Now I kind of like having it on just because it lets me know I did a particular operation. So I'm going to turn that back on, press and hold, turn on my machine. And you can hear that little beep. That means it's made that change and now I'm hearing the little buzzer, the little beep. Okay, another thing you can do is change your initial needle position. When you first turn on your machine, by default it has stitch number three, which is right there, and that is the center needle position. But let's say you frequently have to go over here to stitch number one because that's the one you want. So you can change that by, again, have your, pres your uh, machine off, and this time we're gonna go up to the upper of these oval buttons, the negative one, press and hold that, turn on your machine. That long beep that you hear means it has made a change, and now we're in stitch number one, which is your left needle position. I prefer having mine in the center, because that's kind of what I'm been used to all my life, so I'm gonna turn off my machine, press and hold that, it's made that change. And now you can kind of hear the, the machine readjusting itself. It has readjusted so that now it's in the center needle position. Those are the three changes that you can make as far as settings on your machine, and they're really useful, especially that needle up, needle down one, I thought that was really useful. Remember, you don't need to turn off your machine in order to do that, just for those other two. So I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos on this machine and on other machines here on our Montevilla YouTube channel. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.